Hello and welcome back to the EGL Astro Gaming Championship Playoff. I am Fox, joined by Draft. We're getting into map number two in the Grand Finals. Team Pickups Unite versus Team Infused. And we saw Pickups Unite take that PowerPoint game and really just run away with it. I mean, it didn't really look like Team Infused showed too many signs of life until maybe the, the, the beginning of the second rotation of Hills. It was, it was kind of one-sided. Pickups Unite just really came to play here in the Grand Finals. And could we possibly see an upset? Who knows? Infused just now dropping their first map as we head into S and D. Maybe they can come back with a vengeance. Yeah, and you know, as I was saying, you know, if Unite are actually, you know, taking the first map, you know, maybe it might give them a bit of momentum as, you know, to start taking these next few games from Infuse and maybe even take it to another series where, you know, Infused are basically on that last leg, really. <laughs> Literally right at the start as well. Just as I was talking there, J. Cog getting a massive two-piece inside, picking up another player from Infused. So it is literally a one versus four. That round went incredibly fast. Yep, very quick. Three up, three dead, and the last player that was sitting behind Orange, sub player you usually you usually see on defense, sitting behind Orange was was quickly taken down. Uh, infused, not able to get a single kill that round in S and D. Uh, and Solar S and D was actually the the map that they took Optic Gaming to round eleven on. And Optic Gaming historically is the best team at Solar Search and Destroy, going undefeated throughout the MLG League for what all of season one, and then bringing that through season one playoffs as well. So you would imagine that this Infused squad has. Some, has great experience on this map and that this should be a close match but that first round not a very good start nope and i mean you know i'm gonna i'm gonna go on with pe as well as you can see very you know, weird weird ish push i would say you know pushing straight through mid map there was gonna be three players pushing through mid map marky b getting picked up by jake cop but pe trading it on jake straight away as pe is gonna be oh no he's actually <laughs> planting the bomb uh they go to put the bomb down but then obviously you know biden time and pushing me as you can see <laughs> literally just fast yet again pickups unite fighting back against team infused and taking yet another round from team infused yeah it's really not looking good it's looking like an incredibly one-sided match so far pd the only player to get a kill for team infused and if we look at colgate three and zero, has yet to see a death and has the most kills in the game let's see if he can continue that streak going into round number three pickups unite still showing that they are the dominant team right now Complete yeah, opposite I mean, of the first time we saw these teams, these two teams meet together in the tournament. Oh yeah, definitely. I 100% I agree with you. I mean, you know, first, uh, well, you know, apart from the hard point, uh, they didn't really look that dominant at all against Team Infused. Um, I don't know whether it was just because they, you know, they're, you know, a bit frightened of, you know, the name, like, oh, you know, we're playing against Team Infused and stuff like that. I'm not entirely sure, but they have definitely start, you know, wising up to everything that's happening, and they're playing really, really good card at this moment in time. Well, uh, anyway, here it is. Infuse is able to get the first blood. Colgate was about to be taken out next, but he is intent. He's intelligently going to back up off of that one versus two gunfight and wait for his team to come over to be. Uh, especially since they, they're not really even decided on a bomb site that uh, that Infuse is going to be playing just yet. Or uh, not, not Infuse. I'm sorry. Uh, Pickups United is going to be playing just yet. That was very smart for him to back up there. There we go. Picks up the kill on Marky B. Cod. You know he wants to get out of the way so as to not be traded. Excellent movement from him. And we're seeing another player fall. Two versus two situation. PD and Urban. Doesn't look like anybody is really set up for a kill on Team Infused. No, by the looks of it as well, you know. As Bomb making its way towards the B-Bomb site. PE is going to be there as well. I think you might actually hear this Bomb going down. No, he doesn't. Uh, oh, actually, I think he does. He's reacting. He's starting to move closer to the bomb. Irvin as well, starting to push in. Able to take down Insight as switch. well. So. Yep, bait perfect switch. bait and switch out of PD and Irvin right now. PD knew that that was not his gunfight to win, and he backed off to let Irvin try and find an angle. And the perfect 2v2 clutch coming out of these two players is going to result in Infuse winning their very first round. Mm, so, you know, again, hopefully this is a start for Infused. Hopefully they can start putting themselves on the board, uh, you know, <laughs> not get taken down by Unite. Heading into round number four. Infused picks up their first round win. Marky B, however, still at the bottom of the score, but with no kills to his name. Let's see if he can make any changes on the offensive side. He's got two frags. Possibly see him go for some opening nades here as they move on to the B bomb site. Looks like a four man push onto the B bomb site. They are leaving one player behind them, zero, to watch the flank. First blood going in favor of Team Pickups United. 
on Carl, Carl Gate, literally going in, absolutely massive, able to take down two players. Picking up the third as well, he's getting thirsty for that fourth, but Jake is going to be able to pick that one up. Literally, Colgate completely melting Team Infuse. Team Infuse literally struggled to handle with just Carl alone. And by the looks of it, yep, yeah, another round going straight to Pickups Unite. So Pickups Unite taking the game 3-1 in favour of Unite. Heading into round number five, we're going to see if Team Infuse come out the comeback or if Team Pickups United can maintain their lead with Colgate 7-1. and one. If he doesn't slow down anytime soon, it's not going to be easy for them. So let's just see what Colgate can do as he pushes into orange here. Two players in his way. They're actually getting a little bit more aggressive than normal on this B-bomb site. Uh, if they decide to peak even just a little bit, Colgate can easily hit him with the ballot. But it doesn't look like they're going to give him any skin. One player boosts around the corner, spots him. He's going to be easily back off, just going for some information. Yeah, literally, I'm you know hanging around with Colgate. Liberty is getting quite aggressive, uh, trying to push all the way up. As you can see, Marky Bard, literally Marky Marky Bard, uh, Marky Card, literally, you know, peeking out, just able to see Colgate. But what's actually shooting? He's shooting any bullets at him or trying to take him down in the slightest? As you see, Colgate getting. Getting eyes inside of zero, zero, getting eyes on him as well. Uh, but literally just backing away and just biding time as long as possible. Here it is. Nile waiting just outside Orange. Trying to plant the bomb. Baits the player out and is not able to follow through with the kill. Marky B shuts him down. Three versus three situation. And Marky B is trying to avoid the trade, but he is pinched by Jake and one other teammate from Team Pickups United. Colgate goes down to put the bomb down in a three versus one. Zero. Is not going to be able to do this very easily. No. Now, as you can see, just rushing in, able to pick up Colgate there. So it is going to be a one versus two situation. He's in a better situation than what he was in, but hold on. The fact, actually, that he got, well, getting quite a few bullets inside of one of the players from Unite, but unable to pick him up. It is going to get bait and switched straight away. So yet again, Unite taking another round against Team Infuse. It would seem Infuse is just, they're definitely slack in this series. I mean, this is not the same Infuse we've seen in literally every other series throughout this entire tournament. Yeah. I mean, you know, like earlier on as well, you know, just all the way through this tournament, 3-0, 3-0, 3-0, they looked so dominant all the way through throughout this tournament. And then I don't know what's happened, you know, this game, but Unite really, really starting to tail up against Infused and Infused just literally getting pounded by Unite. Yeah, Infuse though, still has some time to work with here. It's still anyone's game. Just a very big lead coming from uh, Pickups United. Now in a three versus one, Insight has to try and clutch it up with a huge retake within 40 seconds. Can he do it? No, he cannot oh. shut down within the first engagement. <laughs> got completely demolished as well, and I think he got predicted as well by... Um... Oh, actually, he wasn't zeroed. Uh, I, th I thought it was someone else who was up top. Uh, top panels and uh, but still nevertheless infused able to take another round against unite they are going to be down by two more rounds but still you know two rounds down to unite all right jumping on board with the offensive team here i'm looking at jake who's currently five and three moving towards middle map with the sub first engagement first blood jake gets a two-piece oh. going for the third kill just in front of orange oh, can he get it? He connects if he can find the fourth player this is an ace but no zero shuts him down now in a one versus three neil nile and colgate and insight are smelling blood and looking for this fourth player that's the end of the round I mean, that was, that was an absolutely massive play there to be able to push all the way through and get a massive three piece on Team Infuse there. I mean, I, I, I don't even know what happened to Team Infuse. It's just like Team Infuse just let him walk in and just took it. Really, just I'm not entirely sure what happened. Uh, but just massive kills coming in there by Jake. And now we see Pickups United just one round away from going up in a 2 0 lead against Infused, and for any new viewers that might be unaware of how the bracket works, they need to win two best of fives against Infused in order to win the entire tournament, whereas Infused needs to just win one of the best of fives, and it's looking like this map is going in their favor as Colgate gets the first blood, Insight gets the second kill, Jake picks up the third, now Urban has to have a huge 1v4 
Their life on this map depends on it. Wins the first engagement. He's going to get double teamed here and pinched. Nope. And that's the end of the map. Got completely hunted by the whole squad of Unite and Team Infuse. Literally buckling to the pressure that Unite have put on them. And, you know, still standing by my word. What has happened to Team Infuse? They literally look so dominant uh, the whole way through the night. And now, just, <laughs> they're buckling to the pressure. But anyway, yeah, guys, so at the end of map number two, we're gonna see pickups united, pickups un pickups unite. Oh my gosh, that team name's ridiculous. <laughs> when the first two maps so far upsetting Infuse in the first best of five series, if they if they can continue to win this next map, then they win they need to win an entire an entire other best of five series. But Infused, if they can win the next three maps, win the entire tournament. Stay tuned. We'll be back in just a minute with call more Call of Duty action. <laughs> 